Hi everybody, welcome to Scale Speeder Gaming and as of the end of April 2020 um, the channel has just gone through 10,000 subscribers so I thought it might be useful perhaps to other people who are trying to build their their uh, their YouTube channels, their YouTube gaming channels or other channels as well you know kind of describing how I think I got to 10,000 subscribers you know, three and a half million views um, <laughs> over 2,500 videos and uh, having a really good community as well around the channel and uh, around the Discord. And the first thing I'd say, though, the way that I've kind of done this is you could kind of say I've brute forced it a little bit. Um, my intention with all of this is never and was never to try and build a massive YouTube channel um, for the sake of having a massive YouTube channel. Not that it's massive at the moment, but, you know, 10,000 is pretty good. Um, I do this because I enjoy it you know I enjoy gaming and I enjoy making videos about gaming and that's probably the most important thing you know that's the most important reason why I've got to where I've got to because you can't do this for the money <laughs> or the free stuff you get or anything like that you've got to do it because you enjoy it and if you enjoy the process of making videos and running a channel doing the editing and, and stuff like that then you know that's the most important thing so let's have a look at a few stats. Oh, and the other important, most important thing, sorry, the second one, is the people you know, like you who are watching this video, who comment on it, who like them, who subscribe, who maybe don't like them, but you know, who just watch the videos. They're the reason I am today. So big thank you to everybody out there who's who's who just watched any of my videos because you know you helped me get me to where I am today. But you've got to remember that, you know, back in back in the beginning <laughs> back on the 31st of December 2014 that's when I first I guess that's when I first created um, scale speeder gaming now I do have another YouTube channel that's just called scale speeder I think and if you just look up scale speeder photography that you'll go to that channel that channel's got about 20,000 subscribers uh, but I don't really do much on it anymore because it's about tech and photography and I kind of got a bit burnt out on that um, but what happened was back in 2000 at the end of 2014 um, my son was very kind to give me his Xbox 360 and I'd been away from gaming for a long long time since the beginning of the PS2 era but he had an Xbox One so he gave me his Xbox 360 and all his games and I started playing Call of Duty and you know because I had a bit of experience on YouTube already because I've been using YouTube since about 2007 for various things I thought let's do a gaming channel <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a gaming channel. So that's when it kind of started, back uh, back in 2014. And then I started uploading. In fact, the very first video is still private. I should probably put that up, shouldn't I, so that people can see it? Cause it's quite quite funny. Um, and I started off, you know, doing Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare stuff. The first ones I did, I used to record with just a video camera pointing at TV screen. You know, that, that's where we got to. So. If we look at another stat, you can kind of this kind of starts to explain kind of how we got there. So here we have back on the left hand side, this is 2014, and this purple line is the number of videos that I publish every month or have published every month, and then this green line underneath is that how many views. So I have published as of the 26th of April 2020, 2,550 videos on my YouTube channel. So that's kind of that's a real big reason how I've got where I am today, because if you look at my channel, you know, if you go to um, you know Scale Speeder Gaming and just just scroll down and look at the videos, you'll see lots of them don't have many views. Most of my videos have a lot less than a hundred views. So you think, well, how did you get to ten thousand subscribers then and three and a half million views? The answer is, I've uploaded many, 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 many videos, two thousand five hundred videos, because I really enjoy doing it, you know. Um, and as you can see. Although I've been kind of fairly consistent in the number of videos I upload, like lots every month, it's normally over 60 every month, the views up until we had a bit of a peak around Dece December 2018, it's only really been in the last year that the, the views have really started taking off until, you know, up um, April 2020, and we've got 400, almost 490,000 views um, in one month. And if you think back here, uh, back in let's go back here so in June 2015 I was getting 110 views <laughs> so loads and loads of videos and eventually they started to create quite a lot of views um, and then if we look at this uh, graph here 
this one shows you um, subscribers which is the purple line against views which is the green line so as you can see as the number of views goes up the number of subscribers you get goes up as well and they, they, they kind of follow each other pretty well um, there's a bit of a spike there that was probably February 2020 was that when we were really getting into modding on Daisy? I think and lots of people were watching my modding videos going oh yeah well, he knows a lot about modding and subscribing it unfortunately they've probably been a little bit disappointed since then um, but as you can see so loads of videos uploaded leads to more views and leads to more subscribers now if at this time you're thinking well what about money what about money so on YouTube you're not really meant to talk about money um, you don't have to talk about specifics however a, a common value that people will bandy around is that generally you get two dollars per thousand views so therefore you could you could kind of if you just get a calculator you kind of work out if you look at my total views you know how much money the game the, the channel has, has earned over its lifetime from way back in December 2014 always remember that so we have kind of got a thing so my, my recipe has been upload loads of videos which leads eventually to lots of views which eventually and and with lots of views comes lots of subscribers so what sort of videos do I, I upload because I think this is a critical thing um, and if we look at this stat here he says scrolling down here we go so here we have lists of my videos um, and these are in order of my most popular videos and you'll see a theme with these videos so let, let's go so my my most popular video is how to do melee kill finishing moves call of duty modern warfare 2019 with 407,000 views so that has got over 10 percent of my total views on my channel one video think about one video beginner's guide to getting started in modern warfare ps4 playstation camera how to add face cam PUBG PS4, what is the PTS for? Sniper Elite 4, beginner's guide to getting started. How to find, select and play hardcore mode in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. How to do Warzone finishing moves, execution and melee kills. kills. Nitrado, Daisy, private PS4 customer server, what can you do? Warzone weapon blueprints, what are they and how to use? How to change fire mode. So, you see, see they're all answering questions, these top top earning videos. Um, they're not let's play they're not reviews although some of the reviews do kick in I think quite a long way down my quick start oh, yeah no it's still all how 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 so in order to get videos that have lots of views when you're starting I think as well it definitely helps to answer people's questions you know so um, what, what I tend to do is as soon as I think oh I wonder how to do that in this game I'll do a video about it and in fact this video here how to do melee kill um, finishing moves Call of Duty Modern Warfare is an awful video what happened was we were playing Modern Warfare 2019 Call of Duty one night and it got to about half past 11 and we were playing this game I don't know probably domination or something and this guy kept doing finishing moves which is like a, a, like a um, it's a bit like something out of uh, Mortal Kombat that you can do. You creep up behind someone and you, you, you press and hold a button and you kind of, you, you, you'll you snap their neck and stab them at the same time. Depending on the, the character, there's lots of different things. They're really cool, but they're really hard to do. And I didn't know how to do it. And the guys I was playing with didn't know how to do it either. So we stopped playing and it was really late and I'd work the next day and I thought, oh God, I wonder how you do that. But I thought, God, but there's lots of people wondering how you do this. So I went into... The, a private game, a private match on Modern Warfare with a load of bots and found out how you do it, you have to press down this button and ran around for five minutes just trying to do finishing moves and talking about it on stream as well, talking about it as I'm recording the video saying right, what you've got to do is you've got to do this and, I, and basically for four minutes of that video I don't do it and then finally I get one and I get this finishing move done and I go, there you go, that's how you do it. And I ended the video, and by this time it was like midnight, so I uploaded it, and I think, oh, I've got to go for work in six hours' time. And then I added a title, you know, added a thumbnail, all that stuff, and just uploaded it. And it is an awful video. The comments to that video are so funny, because they're all people going, this guy's shit, this guy's crap. What does he think he's doing? And some people go, oh, no, it's helpful. You can see how hard it is. But what I should have done is obviously edit the video down. In fact, there is another version of that uh, theme on how to do melee killing melee kill finishing moves in Warzone where I have edited it together and it much, it's much more professional look, look, looks a lot better 
Um, but it, it kind of shows you the fact that so many people want to know how to do that, that they're searching on YouTube and they're searching in uh, in Google, you know, how to do this. And that's how you get that foothold, I think, on, on YouTube, by doing these, these videos. Um, if you're an incredible player, you know, and you, your gameplay is fantastic, you know, say uh, you're like a Jack Frags or a Shroud or a Doctor Disrespect or something like that, and you've got a great personality, you can just upload let's play videos you know or um, stream videos and you'll do very well because people will see how you play and go oh that's fantastic i'm not that good you know i'm i'm average and above average occasionally um so that's why most of my stuff isn't um isn't let's plays i do do them because i enjoy doing them but, but they tend to be how to do stuff and um, then i make a list so that's kind of the sort of videos that do very well for me and the key is this document here? It's called. It's my day off document. And what you and th this is so important to anybody who wants to 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 do YouTube, I think, and you want to do lots of um, things, is have a list. And not only have a list, but have a list that you can access, you know, on your laptop, on your PC, and on your phone, so that when you get an idea for a video, you write it down. And it's a just a big, big to do list. So, what I tend to do is I tend to write down. So goals, so 2020 goals, I've just updated them. So 20, 20K gaming channel, so it'd be nice to get to 20,000 uh, subscribers this, this year now. Great that grow the Daisy private server community and perhaps add PC. And then we have lots of different subjects that I just brainstorm ideas for. And I, I consult these sort of subjects every now and again, but the, the real core of it is here, is that on the left-hand side, the uh, Sunday night stream, the SS gaming uh, pipeline, the scale speeder gaming pipeline. And this is where I put ideas. So, so you can see the top one. How I got to ten thousand subscribers. Um, I've just recently got some uh, Harry's razors through the post. So Harry's review, shave and price. How to dominate hardpoint. I thought. Hmm. I was watching a Jack Frags video where he's playing Battlefield Four, and I thought I could probably do a video like that, but about hardpoint with modern warfare because I'm quite good at that. How to play PVE on DayZ because again, I get people you know putting comments on videos. Um, say my DayZ video saying all oh, right how do you how do you get into this server so I'll show that how oh, I got to 10,000 subscribers so we've done we're doing that one now so let's delete that um, how to snipe how to see the next final circles contracts explained my best war zone settings and loadout quad squad squad walkthrough you see terminator gameplay from the terminator game hunter call of the wild gameplay and I just write all these down and then when, when I've got some time to make a video I just look at them and go all right okay let's 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 do that also what really helps is this here types of questions so these are all you know how do i how do i get better how do i avoid how far how long what is what for what is the best what is the worst when where you know so you where in warzone is and what you can do with that is actually if you if you open up a uh, a google thing and you can do this on google or youtube you know so you could put on something like warzone what is oh there we go so the most the auto complete says what are blueprints now what just so happens that one of my most popular videos explains just that so you've got video titles right there what are blueprints what is plunder what counts as a kill what is a cache what do watches do what do you get for winning what is battle pass these are gold um and you I mean if you press enter you know you could, p people also ask how do you use blueprints in Warzone? What are the best blueprints? What are the blueprints used for in Modern Warfare? How do you use blueprints in Modern Warfare? These are all video titles and video subjects that you can get simply for free by using autocomplete. And autocomplete works in, well, that's Google, isn't it? Um, if we go to YouTube, we could do, say, PUBG. How do? How do you get clothes? How do you destroy CCTV cameras? How does the flare gun work? How to download? How to download on PC? How to play? How do you use a scope? <laughs> yeah. This is absolutely the, the tools for coming up with ideas for videos. And I'm not saying make all these videos, but it means that that might think you might think, oh yeah, I don't know that. That will help me in my gameplay, or that will help me make a video. So that's very very important. Now you can use tools, for example, like TubeBuddy, um, which is is there. Um, which kind of help you to to do that sort of stuff, but to be honest, all they're doing is they're using the autocomplete things from YouTube and from Google to just do simple things like that. But that list of um, 
questions hows what's when's where what who why who's does all that sort of stuff whenever you're stuck for an idea just put that into youtube search or google search you know with the name of the game and then one of those questions you know daisy when so let's just just try that now so if you, if you go daisy when when you die when do servers restart when does loot, loot respawn when does loot reset when is the next update when will the bow be added daisy lag when shooting what daisy what happens when you eat human meat now, these are questions that people are uh, asking um and you know you can make videos about those if you're interested in making those videos because it's very very important to be interested about the subject so that kind of rather nicely brings me onto this page which is my playlists and kind of my, my title screen here so I try I've, well I've tried probably for the past two years to concentrate on a certain type of game and that game tends to be a shooter um, third person or first person shooter tends to be um, set in a semi-realistic um, um, environment from yeah, you know the 20th to the 21st century not including science fiction so games that are perfect for that for me are you know call of duty modern warfare perfect daisy you know i like zombie stuff as well perfect PUBG, perfect um sniper elite 4 world war 2 third person shooter you know perfect zombie army trilogy zombie army 4 perfect strange brigade kind of it's moving a little bit away because you've got lots of kind of magic and stuff like that um, and things like Sudden Strike 4, which um, is World War II, but it's uh, it's a real-time tactics game. You know, but it's an interest, something I'm interested in because I'm very much interested in this genre and that environment. So, um, for example, I enjoy playing a game like Modern Warfare way more than I would enjoy playing something like Destiny 2 or Halo, because I'm not that fond of science um, science fiction type shooters. I want ones that are based, you know, boots on the ground, um, or at least close to that, like um, Advanced Warfare in Call of Duty. I really enjoyed that because although you had jumping around and you had laser beams and things like that, it was kind of based in reality. And you can kind of see this in, in the, these playlists, playlists with a number of videos on these subjects. So PUBG, you know, my favourite game for an awful long time, 420 videos. Daisy, 252 videos. Modern Warfare, 133, sorry, Modern Warfare, 274 videos. Um, if we go down, let's have a look. Uh, I like doing videos about helping people to get better at YouTube as well. 103 videos. Um, Battlefield 5, I may, you know, 125 videos. Not too fond of it, but you know, I do. Uh, the Division, 43 videos. Battlefield 1, 156 videos. Um, go down black ops 4 67 videos sniper elite 4 38 videos keep going uh, ghost recon wildlands 56 videos black ops 74 videos you know so you're kind of getting the idea that my channel has a theme now i know lots of um channels will concentrate on one video now that might be sorry one type of uh, video so like jack frags is battlefield isn't he i know he's doing a lot of call of duty recently um th that is probably a very good idea because it means that your subscribers can always know what to expect they know they're always going to get battlefield content and that's why they'll keep coming back to you however i don't just like playing one <laughs> one game um, and there's always the danger, as in this year, well, last year with Battlefield, we had Battlefield 5, where it isn't that good, where you might not want to make that much content. And I like playing lots of different games, and so that's why I upload lots of different content. Undoubtedly, it probably help, hurts me um, by the fact that someone who's really into my DayZ content gets a notification that it's a Call of Duty video that I've uploaded, and they may well, you know, turn off notifications or unsubscribe completely, because they're like, well, I'm not interested in that. But because I think that having a passion for making the videos and playing the games is most important, because you know, if you start falling out of love with the game, 
you know you can't like a bit like with myself with PUBG at the moment you know you can't it's very difficult to keep making videos because you start being negative about the game and then which you don't want to be people don't want to hear negative stuff I know you can argue that negative clickbait videos do very very well but I don't want to be like that um, I like making positive videos how to help people get better and this sort of stuff so you know if I have a game that I like and if you've got a game that you like you'll probably be coming up with lots of more ideas on how to um, how to make videos to help other people get better at those games as well right so we've covered a lot of ground now so I guess finally we'll talk about the community so I'm very lucky in the fact that I have a big community on YouTube anyway with all those subscribers and lots of people when I do a live stream on YouTube and I mainly do YouTube streaming I don't get I don't do strips twitch or mixer very often um, I do have um, accounts on those and occasionally I will stream but mainly I use Twitch as a as a way of recording Xbox One gameplay and then exporting it to YouTube and Mixer you know I don't think the uh, I don't think the audience is big enough to to, to, to warrant doing that um, but I do have a community around the YouTube channel I also have a community around the DayZ channel very very lucky with that and I think the, the way that probably I've done this is um, a lot of it is based around the fact that I have the um, Nitrado private servers um, so people subscribe uh, sorry people join and become a member on YouTube or join my patreon and then they can get on these PVE only DayZ servers for Xbox or PlayStation which I think people very much um, enjoy and they you know and they have to be over 18 and they have to come and join the discord and then we have all these rules and these rules are based around you know player versus environment only don't kill other people so that's quite different from the offering in public servers and most of the private servers on daisy because they all tend to be around <laughs> killing people all the time um where m mine aren't mine are about adventures so that's very good i try and um interact with everybody and i've made you know some great friends and acquaintances um as part of this and originally i always used to answer probably all of my comments on youtube i can't now there's way too many to do that um, but it get, having a Discord is a it's a nice place to for, for for people to come and you know you know and chat and talk. Unfortunately, what often happens? So, for example, I have a whole section on modding Daisy servers because that's really exploded. I would like to be able to spend more time in there and help people, but I, the, the volume of traffic and the number of people there means I just simply can't. But at least people do have a place to come and talk, you know, and they can message me, and then if I've got time, I can help them out, and I can do that. So that's definitely helped that way. But hopefully, one of the reasons why, um, you know, the channel has done well is because people can kind of get past the fact that, you know, I'm, a, I'm an older guy who isn't that good at gaming, and really get to the passion that I have for making videos for YouTube about video games and helping people kind of get better at them. Right, so hopefully that's helped. Um, you know, to sum it all up, you can say, <laughs> upload loads of videos, that will give you lots of views eventually, um, and that will lead to subscribers. Make those videos, uh, make them have the subjects that help people, you know, they answer questions, and then engage with people. And, uh, you know, with, quite a lot of time because it's been like five years and a lot of work you know you, you you'll get there probably a lot quicker than i have because um yeah i probably haven't done things in exactly the right way so finally i'd just like to thank everybody who's watched my videos subscribed on them like them un dislike them um hit that notification bell the people who've joined the patreon or the people who've become members of my youtube big big thanks i couldn't have done it without all of you guys and i don't know let's see if we can get to twenty thousand subscribers next Thank you very much. If you've got any questions or comments, put them down below. And of course, I'll see you again soon.